Hello, friends and lovers, and welcome to Wild Frost. This is a brand new deck building roguelike, and this game is absolutely amazing. Honestly, I cannot say enough good things about it right now. I tried the demo out months ago when it first came around, and I absolutely love it then, and it's now out. It's on the Switch. It's on Steam right now. 20 bucks, you can get it either way. Uh, it's not early access, so if you're looking for a full game, here we go. You know what I mean? I've only done one run of the full version of the game so far, but... I gotta show you it. It really is absolutely amazing. So you'll probably recognize some terminologies from games like, say, The Spire. Can I say it's the next Slay The Spire? You know, maybe. I mean, it's, it's probably a bit earlier for me to say, but a lot of my uh, content creating competitors are definitely, they're going big on it because it, it's got a lot to offer. And on top of just the actual uh, simple yet complex gameplay, they've done a great job with the art and the music and the sound overall. So... Let's get a run going, and let me apologize ahead of time. My allergies are kicking in. I might be a little bit more quiet or just, I don't know, my voice. It might sound like I actually hit puberty for the first time finally or something, or a little nasally. I might eat my hair sniff or two, so apologize ahead of time. I think it's allergies. I hope it's allergies, I guess. Anyway, we have to choose our leader at the start here. You can see their health and their damage right there. Uh, you can see how long it takes for them to actually do an action. So four turns, three turns, four turns. Applying two snow freezes counter and reaction. So it makes an enemy uh, not do anything for two turns because enemies will also have this counter here. I'll try to explain it best I can. This is definitely going to be for... What's this do? Oh, you can change them something to... You can change it uh, to a different name. Oh, that's cute, huh? All right, Car Ramra, let's go. This is definitely going to be for someone who hasn't seen the game before, but I personally right now I plan to play this game a lot. I mean, uh, I wanted to play the demo more, but there just wasn't a lot to do at that time. So I'm just happy to get uh, more meat on the bone here, I guess you could say. All right, so let's start up. Let's see. So it, it they do have lanes. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you only got one hero or yeah i guess they're all they're just called heroes uh if you just have one hero they're all gonna attack them from somewhere so i don't like avoid the attack if i'm a peer for instance from the bottom too so i don't think it matters much where we put them for now and now combat starts so the way turns work is that uh every time you play a card that is a turn and everyone's counter will go down by one so these enemies will not attack until their counter hits zero um, so we have Snoof here. He's a friend. Apply one frost. So now if I play Snoof up here, then I'm trying to think at the same time here. Uh, I don't know if I want to play Snoof right there because it does cost a turn. Like I said, if we do play Snoof up there, they would uh, tank the attack from this Pengoon right there. But these guys only have two health, I'm thinking. So why don't we just start wailing on them? I probably want to wait on this guy because when they get hit they gain extra attack damage. Okay. I'm gonna have to get it nice and close to the microphone here because I, I tend to mumble when I think a lot and that on top of my allergies, you know, probably not gonna be great. Uh, so yeah, it is a deck builder. You can get more cards to add to the deck. You can remove cards. Uh, you can get, I don't know if you call them relics really. I think they call, they have something called charms though. Well, let's just kill the other Pengoon before it can attack, I think, is a decent option. But by not playing the Snoof, we do kind of lose out slightly here when you think about it, because they might have been able to attack by now. Or soon. Sooner, you know what I mean? So this guy's got six health, currently one attack. When I hit them, they will gain an attack. It can freeze them, but it also does hurt them. I mean, they're only going to deal one, so I wonder... I'm kind of okay with the hero taking the hit there. They have 10 health, but if the hero dies, that's when you lose. Like, it's game over. GG. And now you can rearrange at any time. That's a free action. Uh, you can move them wherever you want at any time. Uh, so that's for free. And you can only get cards back by ringing the bell here. And if you don't let the bell recharge, then you will... It'll cost you a turn. Just one turn. It won't, like, this'll, it'll, like, say four after we use it once. Hmm. I'm looking at what's happening over here. I realize I'm being a little confusing, but that's okay. <laughs> Next turn, this will be free to use, basically. If we can hit it, we can redraw our cards and get more back into our hand, and it won't cost us a turn, essentially. But if you want to do it early, then it costs you a turn. 
I think I said that right. Do I want to use my snow stick? I guess I do. I'm just thinking because it's like dead soon. Hmm. Increase attack by one. If I chose Ramrod to apply the snow, because I, I kind of like the idea of the snow build, it keeps freezing our enemies, right? I kind of just want to kill this thing, so we got one turn until more enemies show up. That's what that's saying. Oh, darn, it's still... They still did their attack. I was hoping it would save it. Count down their counter by two. Let's try to kill this thing, the Gobbling. Escape from the battle if it gets to take a turn, but it drops four gold when hit, so I guess we'll try to do that. I'm looking at how much damage here. Hmm, flame water kind of stinks, huh? These guys hit pretty hard. One damage times three. Well, it's just three damage, but it's enough to kill my snoof if I let it happen, right? Meanwhile, between the two of them, if we just let them attack, they'll kill the gobbling before it escapes. Hmm. Maybe we just do this. Does nothing, takes a hit. Okay. Keep hitting these waddle goons. And can we talk about just how darn cute <laughs> everything in this game is, too? Let's just count you down to make sure we get the frozen on it. I think. And let's redraw. Hmm. Three health. But they're gonna take a turn. They only have one frozen on them. Hmm. Do I want to freeze them again? Will they actually get to take a turn if I do this? I don't think so. We do have more enemies incoming, though, now. Alright, we got Big Pang. Gain plus one attack when an ally is killed. So, the goal is, def is to defeat that guy now, basically. I think we go hide over here. We do kind of just have to kill that now. So, they're now up to two attack. The woodhead will take one. Hmm. I guess I start freezing Big Pang here. I can't kill this one, which is too bad because they're always uh, going to attack the enemy in the front row first. So there's not much I can really do about that, but maybe we can keep freezing the Pang. Oh, crap. I should have put Ramrod in the front there, probably. I don't know if I can kill this thing fast enough. Just because... Well, they only deal one each. It's not that crazy, really. Do I want to redraw or... Use the sun rod? Probably the sun rod. But I gotta keep freezing this guy. Is probably the idea. And now I'll start working on getting rid of some of these. To prevent some of this damage. And kind of juggle doing both of these things all at once, right? Alright, we're fine. We did okay. I mean, we did something, that's for sure. That felt kind of dicey. <laughs> Snoof was injured in battle. If they survive the next battle, they will recover. Oh no, so they start with two health and they only deal two damage? Oh, I didn't know that happened. So if they pass away... Pass away? Why am I saying it like that? If they die in battle... And that's what happens. So this is where you can spend money, I'm pretty sure. But it's early on in the run, so we don't want to do that. So let's go here. Uh, free a companion. Someone like Snoof, basically. We got Demona doesn't deal any damage, but they apply Demonize, which makes the enemy take double damage just for the one turn. Colonel, when hit, apply three shield to ally behind. That was pretty nice. When an enemy is killed, apply three shield to the attacker. Oh, that's not bad. The problem... Mm, so if I kill an enemy with one of those scrappy swords or something, then we get nothing, right? That's the thing to keep in mind. Hmm. Why does that remind me of a Pokemon ball? I don't know. Shelly sounds kind of interesting. But I think I like the idea of Colonel here. Colonel Sanders, of course. From the treasure. Oh, no, wait, hold on. Oh, crap. 
Okay, so I took a card. <laughs> oh, it doesn't really do much for us either, probably. Shroom deals damage every turn, so I think it's like a poison mechanic. Whoops. I thought I had to, like, click it a couple times to open it. Can I... It says reserve down here. Can I, like, put it down here? I cannot. It's okay. We made a mistake. I thought it was kind of like this, where I got to click a few times to get it open. Apply to poison is aimless. Hits a random target in the row. Hey, maybe this is a sign that we go into poison. When health is lost, gain equal pepper or spice. Temporarily increases attack. Foxy three times three. Foxy works well with like that flame water buff that we got. You know what? Let's try it. Good old wart. Let's try to get a poison thing going on. Okay, Ramrod. Porky, porky Pine. Let me see. Barrage hits all targets in the row. Six L2 damage. Frost temporarily reduces attack. So that's different. A frosting or trigger when an ally in the row attacks. So when this thing attacks, this one will also attack for two. Okay. I want to just get wart out there. I was kind of hoping to get a lot of snow stuff going on. Kind of didn't happen, at least not yet, right? I kind of don't want wart in the front, not yet, but we can always change our mind, right? Okay. I like how the music doesn't actually kick in until you hit something, by the way. <laughs> so I really don't want this thing to attack. Because then the Mimic will also hit, right? Although you'll hit everything in the row. But you'll... Hmm. I don't know. That's kind of tough. Maybe play the Snoof now. Keep him in the back, though. Although I can't let the Porcupine attack if I do do that. We can just put the Snoof there for now, maybe. Alright. So that thing's... Does that thing die before? Counts down every turn. I don't know. Maybe I just use the scrappy sword to make sure it doesn't actually attack here. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Maybe it was wasted. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. I really don't want Snoopy to accidentally get injured or anything here. Let's give some flame water to someone. And try to build up for the enemies that are coming kind of here. So since they attack twice, the flame water makes sense on them kind of. Hmm. I do want to kill... Oh god, there's a mimic here too. While active, add plus two damage to all allies. Okay, so if I can just juggle between these two and stop them from attacking, I think we'll be okay though. So let's freeze this one. These are the only two enemies that actually attack right now. So as long as I can prevent that, we might be okay. Okay, let's see here. Hmm, we didn't get any additional... Hmm. Oh, you only have two health? Okay, let's just Scrappy Sword you, I think. Okay, so now... We got a few turns on you. Hmm. Why, does it, why doesn't Snoof go down here? And we'll kill the Mimic, and then we'll freeze this one. Why don't we just Scrappy Sword this thing? We do have more enemies coming. You can see it on the right side there, right? Time to get the kernel out, maybe? Because it seems like we have time. I think that's a good idea. I gotta watch this poison to see exactly when it triggers and everything. Okay. I guess we put the woodhead here. The ringer, when hit, apply two frost. Temporarily reduces attack. Porky piney right there also. Okay. 
can only have a maximum of one frost. Yeah, a lot of the bosses have, you know, anti-freeze or anti-this or that to make sure you can't just continuously stun lock them, right? Which I, I think it makes sense. It probably stinks if you accidentally run into a boss that, you know, kind of counters you. I don't really know exactly yet how that works, though. Maybe they're kind of careful about it. I don't know. So they say that enemies always attack first. We know that this guy will hit Snoopy first. But... I'm kind of okay with them attacking. It's not that big of a deal, right? I don't like this thing. This thing hits for five? Dang. Hmm... Should I just go for the boss, maybe? Maybe. Maybe we do. So they got frosted. But they put Shell over here. Do we redraw, or is Sunrod worth using on Snoopy, we think? They're all attacking here. You're attacking for zero. Three, and you're gonna freeze. I think we do it. Okay, so we got the poison on them. They're dead. We got one poison on you still. Let's redraw now. Hmm. You're frozen. How badly do we want to freeze the ringer here? I'm probably thinking too hard about it because we're probably, like, kind of good. <laughs> I guess I won't worry too hard about this guy. When hit, apply two frost to a random enemy. Okay, I gotcha. Don't forget, you can hit the bell to redraw any time. What happens? I, I kind of want to see what happens if I use the sunrod when they're at two already. They immediately attack. Okay, that's good to know. Ringer is down. Hey, right, there we go. Boom. Recovered from their injuries. Yay, Snoofy. Do we want more companions? Treasure, charm, woolly snail. Wing snail cave. Now I'm not really sure. Maybe this isn't where they sell, but you just get some money. I feel like we kind of have a good amount of companions, so let's get some treasure instead. Whenever anything is shroomed, double the amount and lose one scrap? Oh, I have to play this somewhere on the field. Double the amount of shroomies. When an ally is hit, restore their health by one. So I had to I had to put these into play into the battlefield. Shell shield, we had to play on a character. It's kind of just like a block card. It's pretty straightforward. It carries over between turns. It's actually quite good, I think. I just realized I hadn't taken my Claritin to try to soothe. Well, I mean, I said I'd try to do poison stuff room stuff, I guess we should say, right? So why don't we take the charm? Okay, this can be equipped to heroes, I believe, usually. The battle charm, a plus two attack. Equip it now. So something like that definitely does better for anything that hits multiple times. So I guess we'd give it to Wart here, even though they're supposed to pretty much just apply poison in a sense. But it just makes the most sense, right? They get double the value out of it. All right, now we got a shop. We have $92. A crown. Cards with crowns are always played at the start of battle. So that's really strong when you think about it. So it means we can put it on a hero and they'll always be on the battlefield at the start. And we could get, wait, can I give that to uh, Wart? Can they have, is this a charm or is it separate? Apply two Shroom Barrage. That's tempting. But this just sounds too good. I can still give it to Wart. Okay, lovely. There we go. Stacking up the Wart here. Only got $12 now, so we're broke. And boss time. Let's see how we do. Bamboozle hits all enemies. Three damage, 18 health. When hit, reduce attack by one. Starts with eight. Wow. Uh, aimless. Hits a random target in the row. 
Oh, wait. They don't actually play in the battlefield. They just come into my hand. Oh, okay. I can still choose. Okay, never mind. Okay, how do we want to do this? This guy does not have a lot of health. Hmm. I know, sorry. This guy has a long counter, I guess is what I meant to say. <laughs> how badly should I just kill the snowbow right away, I wonder? Maybe quite badly? You do have more enemies coming at some point. Um... Maybe we just give the wart some flame water now. Pump that up to three. They still hit the boss twice. I'm kind of thinking they're only going to hit the front row, so I'm thinking I'm going to freeze this guy to try to just delay things a little bit. Wow, that... that That's like a lot of damage quickly. <laughs> Might not look that special, but it kind of was. I think we just redraw now, and we'll try to get another hero out for the second part of the fight, because there is more. We get Snoofy out, or the Colonel, I wonder. Maybe Snoofy. Snoofy Snoof. Okay, it died to the poison. Very nice. So now they split. We got Bam and Boozle now. We still got these two guys. But if we kill the boss, we'll be done. Wild. Gain one... I think it's attack power is what it's saying. Oh, Frenzy. Oh, Frenzy. So it means it would attack twice. So it gains one Frenzy when other wild cards are killed. This one's also wild. This one can be frozen more. This one can be frozen less. This one has six damage. This one's going to attack sooner. So I... Hmm. Okay. Truminator. I don't know. Is that weird? It's a little weird. Uh, this one applies frost. Maybe I just freeze this now? Maybe. This is aimless. Oh, it could be anyone in the row. Oh, that was sort of wasted because of that. Hmm. Okay, let's do that. I am watching up here. Okay, so they're done. I probably overkilled it, actually, even. Let's play the Colonel in here, so that they can tank the hit. Oh crap, that dealt seven? So you can actually withdraw a companion, recall them, they saw, call it, and put them in the discard pile and they'll get healed. You'll have to redraw them and everything. I don't think it costs a turn. I don't think. Let's find out. It did not, okay. The Shroominator might be hard to play, honestly. I feel like it's going to be hard to play. You have three shield because the Colonel got hit. Yeah, let's uh, redraw. I think this thing is just like dead, right? There we go. Boom. That poison. Pretty strong, really. All right. Now we got a big reward, of course. Sun Belt of Hands card draw plus one. Companion limit plus one. Redraw bell counter minus one. I think it's just card draw plus one here. I'm not redrawing that quickly so far. Companion plus one. I guess there's a limit to how many companions you can have, if I understand correctly. Now entering the ice caves. Do we want treasure or money, I wonder? There, oh, we didn't get any card munchers. There's card munchers that will uh, remove cards from our deck. Let's just get some treasure, maybe. Deal additional damage to snowballed enemies. Is that what it's called? Snowed enemies. Applies one snow to all enemies. Wow. Wallop is very tanky. Eight additional damage, so it'll hit for 12 if they're snowed. That's a lot, right? It sounds like a lot. Companion limit hit. You can reserve companions in your deck pack at any time. I see. I guess Snoofy goes to the reserves for now. Sorry, Snoofy. Okay, what we got going on in here? Restore two health, hits everything in the row. While active, add plus two 
damage to items in your hand. So like the swords will deal plus two, I guess. Trigger when spice reaches 10, destroy self. What? Uh. Oh. <laughs> Temporarily increases attack. Frenzy times five. Card will trigger when spice reaches 10. I'm guessing if you can get the spice to 10, it'll attack times five, right? And then it destroys itself? I'm not sure. I think the only thing that does anything here is maybe the berry basket, but I don't even like it. There's no option to skip cards. It's worth noting. I don't have a lot of money, do I? Target must be snowed. Hits for eight damage. Apply four snow. Reduce by one when played. I think I kind of just want some more snow stuff. Increase attack by two, barrage consume. It's all targets in our row. <coughs> Can only be played once per battle. Yeah, just give me more ways to freeze up enemies, I'm kind of thinking. All right, let's go. The ice caves. Things really ramp up quickly, by the way. Go ahead and play ya. <coughs> Excuse me. Shell Witch, apply two shell to all allies. Deal additional damage equal to shell. Ooh. That's scary. Gain two shell on its turn. Oh my god. Okay, so here's a question. Does uh, Shroom go through the shell? Because if so, that's kind of crazy, right? If that is indeed the case... Let's find out. It does not go through shell. Okay. That's not a big deal. How badly... Hmm. It's kind of overkill if I have them take their turn right there, I'm kind of thinking. Kind of hoping they split up the damage there. They kind of didn't. <laughs> in, that they, in that they did not at all. I guess we'll snow you over here. Enemies go first. Hmm. It hits for four? That's quite hard, isn't it? Okay, let's do that. Oh, I did this wrong, probably. It's overkilled again by quite a bit. They still attack for two. Let's swap it back now, just in case. I don't know, should I... Hmm. Let's just redraw here. Is there... Uh, maybe I can freeze it, you know what I mean? There we go. Do, 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 do. There's a goblin. I don't know if I want to worry about... that. Worry that much about it. Gain two teeth and deals damage to attackers. So I'm going to be the one that wants to kill this thing if possible. Deal additional damage... Hmm. Okay. Maybe we play the Colonel for now. Oh, so it gets even more teeth. I see. It's gonna be hard for me to personally kill it. Well, no, there's that hammer or whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and snow you up. We got that hammer, so hopefully we can just do that. That snow hammer somewhere. Hmm. Will you die to this poison before you go? I guess we'll find out, right? Fly to snow, so I shouldn't attack this thing, really. Should I? It's for three. No. I'm not sure. Trickle. All right, I forgot that you actually deal a small amount of damage. That's okay. I think we just redraw now. I mean, they're they're going. I kind of just want to make sure we're gonna be okay for this fight for now. Okay, you're about to hit for three. I really want to use the sun rod right now then. I could try to freeze this thing and see if I can 
snag it. Oh, this is tough. You got a bunch of armor now. Where's my shroom hammer, huh? Boop, boom, boo doo doo, boom. Hmm. My heart tells me to just go along with this. Okay. Goblin escaped. Hey, we got a combo. Okay, so now this could be problematic because if they hit this thing, then I'm going to be in deep doo doo. I, so I kind of don't want them to even go take their turns, you know what I mean? I don't think freezing it is going to do a lot here. Okay, good. We got... Oh, crap. It's hiding. Okay, okay. They'll, they're going to attack the Conqueror first, at least. When hit, gain plus one damage. So you're going to attack here. That's fine. Um, You hit for five, huh? Let's see, so you're gonna hit for three, twice, that's six, plus four on the poison. I think it's enough to kill it, right? Might want a snow globe soon. I gotta find the poison hammer to throw it at this thing to get rid of it, hopefully. I guess we just... Huh. Wonder who I hit here. Who we want to freeze, that is. You're going to be dead to the poison. Ah, uh, but this thing's like just so in the way, is it not? We can play the Shroominator, I guess, for now. I'm almost just like buying time to redraw now, though. Okay. So this thing is going to gain more. You're going to attack there. And get probably very injured. Hmm. I could have someone else go first. Like Wart here. They're going to attack too. Hmm. It's just so awkward. Everything about it. see what happens. Ow! Oh! Goodbye to that shroom thing. Oh no, the colonel's down too. They've been injured. Yeah, I think I just got myself in a bad position. What do you all think? There's probably things I could have done at the start there to help. Uh, let's play wall at first, then we'll freeze. Okay. Freeze it up. There we go. And it's probably just stun locked for the rest now, it looks. Looks like we got him. Did cost us, though, right? Alright, Bulgo. Yo, I could go for some Bulgogi right now. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Colonel's injured, yeah. Okay, so can I swap them out, I wonder? For Snoof, since they're injured? Let's see. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, Snoof? Ah, there we go. Okay, that works. Okay. Okay, that's a strat. That's a strat. Uh, the Muncher will help uh, get rid of some cards we don't love from the deck. Apply two spice to everyone in our row. Increase health by four. When hit, deal equal damage to the attacker. I don't, don't love any of these, still. I don't know. The heal? The heal doesn't sound great. I feel like Pepper Ring isn't great either. We just don't have a lot of multi-attacks, right? Heal equal damage to the attacker. I kind of want none of those. Why don't we go to the Muncher? I don't even know if that's really the best option. Let's do it anyway. They will eat two of our cards. The flame water is not great, woodhead's not great, but I still think the scrappy swords are probably the worst. Alright. They're just bad draws all around, really. We got new friends here. When an enemy is killed, apply three shell to the attacker. On kill, restore two health to self and allies in the row. So they actually have to get the kill. Hmm. 
That's kind of interesting. I feel like Shelly's a little interesting. I don't know why. Snoof, you're back in the reserves, baby. To the next battle. Wooly, Drek, Bigfoot. Gromble. Aimless hits anyone in the row. It's for seven. Eat a random ally, absorbing their attack, health, and effects. Sweet Moses. Can only be frozen once. Also attacks. Gromble's gonna keep attacking, but they only hit for two, so you probably just let them. Hmm. Seven is just, like, so much, isn't it? Okay. I think we want to get Wallop out right away. Soon as, you know what I'm saying? We didn't get a lot of ways to freeze here. Hmm. Bromble's gonna attack for two. I think we just kind of let that happen. We don't want Shelly to take the D. I probably want to poison, start poisoning this thing. Hmm. Or we just do this. We might just do that, honestly. Is there any chance we kill it? I don't think so. Oh wait, if I shroom it? I think it's dead, yeah. Oh right, because it hits it for one. The uh, Revidurchi. The so Gromble's probably gonna keep getting being able to get to the being able to hit. I think I'm okay with that though. Hmm. Ruminator. Let's go for it, I guess. So you got frozen for at least one turn. That thing's dead. Swap them back. Do I want to get Shelly out there? It's a little iffy. I don't think we need to heal. Yeah, let's get Shelly out. Enemy is killed. Apply three shell to the attacker. Aimless. So they're about to go. I can freeze them with the snow globe. I could redraw and see if I can freeze them with something else. God, if they eat, it's gonna be scary. Plus, they already hit for four, right? I don't know what happens first, the attack or the eat. Either way, it's a bit scary, probably. Hmm. It's hard to keep them frozen, too, right? Now we redraw. Okay, this thing's gonna go. That's fine. They're gonna hit Wallop for six, which is a lot, but... You might have to heal soon after that. Room hammer them, and hopefully we get them down, kind of. It's also gonna get doubled because of the Shroominator. So it's kind of a lot. Oh, okay, so it ate the enemy behind afterwards. Got a lot of poison on it. All right, let's look. So if it's frozen, it'll take additional damage from Wallop. That'll kill it for sure, right? Is that what I actually want to do? Is it dead to the poison anyway, really? Okay, so we should actually swap here. Okay, here's what we should do, I think. Swap, freeze with Ramrod, right? Deal additional damage with Wallop after that. Boom. Start freezing you up. There are more enemies in this battle still. That was very efficient. Okay. Do I even want to try to kill this stupid thing? I don't know, really. I'm pretty sure this thing's like dead to the poison. It only loses one stack, right? Yeah. We could heal up here. Not crazy. You hit for one. Uh. Should I be worried about that Bigfoot? I can redraw next turn and hopefully get some freeze. That's sort of what I'm thinking. 
Two times combo. Apply two snow when it attacks. Hits everything in that row. It only be snowed once. Five damage. When hit, gain two teeth. That's scary. Hmm. We definitely redraw here. You got six shell out of that? Sweet, huh? We have the sun rod. Which is obviously very good. Might have to start shuffling a lot here to keep... Because uh, I kind of just want to leave them out of this, I'm thinking. A big Lou. How cute. So I could speed up their turn to freeze them sooner. Might not be a bad idea. Let's just do this. Wallop will kill them. Then Ramrod can freeze the big Lou after that, I'm kind of thinking, right? Do I want to speed up Wart's turn? The only thing is it might hit this Bigfoot, which is kind of wasteful, right? Well, this thing actually does not have any teeth yet. Only hit it once? Okay, very good. There we go. Big Lou did good there, I think. Wallop's got some armor. Move Shelly back here. Let's move Wallop up here. So they'll take the hit from the Paw Paw, which is only one. Okay. What do we want to do here? This guy hits for seven, and their turn's coming up, right? Although this thing hits... Well, I can't stack any more freeze on it, so there's kind of no point, right? Hmm. So I guess we just do this. Let them hit for one. It's only one. Okay, we still can't redraw yet. Our hand kind of stinks right now. Just heal wallop, maybe? Can this two damage be useful enough here, we think? It's pretty iffy. There's the wood head here. But I don't think it's really worth throwing down. Because it, like, it doesn't really block either of these two attacks. Could block a Gromble attack, but that's not much, right? I guess we just heal. Or we could redraw early. I don't know. That's kind of a tough choice, though. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm... I guess we just snow stick here. Keep delaying that turn as long as possible, I suppose. So you will go first if I let you. If I let you. Huh. I wonder how that works exactly. So if I snow stick, it'll get frozen. When Ramrod attacks, hmm, how does that work, I wonder? They're all attacking. Let's let Wart take the hit. Oh wait, this will hit everything in that row? Okay, so you go first, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Try to avoid this thing from attacking a little bit here. Hmm, though that seven damage hit. Yeah, that was very spicy. They only have three health. So the hammer should be enough to kill it, right? I don't want you to attack. That should kill, right? No! Oh, dear God. Okay, so the shroom happens afterwards. Write that down. Shelly has been injured. But Colonel is all better, so it's fine. <laughs> all right, Blink Snail Cave. We got some money. You want a charm or to remove more cards? I feel like removing more cards is kind of... Is it weird that it's more fun? Get rid of the other scrappy sword. The woodhead's kind of bad. 
Two heals is kind of bad. I feel like this one in particular is bad. I feel like it is. Ruminator's a little weak. Mm. I can see places where Woodhead would get played. All right, we got to change up the reserves too here, all right? Let's see. Shelly is going into the reserves. Let's bring the Colonel back out. Let's see. Nothing related to snow. We could put another crown on something, which is still very strong. And grab a, a charm. Also very good. Apply one block to a random ally or enemy. Oh, no. I'm not, I'm not playing with that. Restore health e to front ally equal to damage dealt. I see. So I hurt the ally and it will restore their health? I'm a little confused by that, but it sounds like I don't want it. Let's get the crown going. I guess we'll throw it on Wallop. And we'll buy a charm too here. Okay, Frenzy Charm. Add one times Frenzy and gain Consume. Huh? Can only be used once per battle. What? Oh, so it's... Oh, okay. Okay. So it's not... It can't go on an ally. It has to go on another card. Flame Water is kind of interesting, but it's probably Hongo's Hammer here, right? Oh, wait, but the card is now consumed? Ooh. Cram. What else would I have given that to, though? I'm not sure. You really want to save the hammer for just the right thing. I don't have enough to buy another charm, so away we go. Boss time! Boss number two. Runker backline bombard. What the heck? Apply to frost. Spuncher. Okay. So if I play all of them, someone's destined to get hit, basically. Actually, two people would be destined to get hit if I played all of them. Hits all targets in the red areas. Deploys to the back of the row, is all it says. Hmm. Okay, so that's only when it actually takes its turn, and it's not immune to the freeze. So I guess we do something like that for now. I don't, I'm not that worried about the Grink here, honestly. You probably just let it be. Huh. So, wait, can I shroom this thing? Is there... Different kind of health reduced by one when any damage is taken. Oh, so you have to hit it eight times, period. Hits for eight when it does, though. It's weak to, uh... Frost, it looks, huh? Maybe we let the Grink be. We start doing this. At least a little bit. Let's Sunrod to get work going as much as possible. Do, 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 do. I think I just keep hitting this thing, honestly. We'll let the Spuncher throw out a hit. So, yeah, because that also reduces the armor, so it's it's very strong against them, it looks, huh? Uh, everyone's taking a turn. I can heal you. Should I heal you now? A little wasted in some ways, huh? I'm worried, like, something crazy happens after we do it. Let's see what happens here. It did work. All right. I'm thinking I just heal here, honestly. That thing's gonna die. Does it really die, though, or is it just phase two? Aha! Oh, man, it purged all the crap, and now it can only be frosted once. Uh-oh. 50 health! Oh, it can hit its own allies? Oh, deal six. Okay. You're gonna hit Ramrod, it looks. Huh. Ooh. 
While active, add plus three attack to all allies, minus three to all enemies. Oh. Frontline smack back. This card will counter attack after taking a hit. Oh, Moses. We're going to deal four. Yikes. Do I want to play the Shroominator? I don't think so. I don't think so. Flame Water does, like, essentially nothing also, right? So, there's probably not much point in freezing this guy. I guess we freeze this thing. I mean, if we're going to freeze something, right? I think I'm okay. So you're going to get hit for six. That's a lot. So we can play the Colonel. They'll still get, they're still going to get hit for six. Wallop's going to get hit for four. I think it's okay, though. Probably the best we can do here. But then all their allies get hit as well, right? Okay, that thing's dead, so they... That goes away. That's very good for us. So we want to swap around here. Wallop can hit that first, and then the freeze can go on the back. I don't want them to hit this thing at all. Hmm. Probably, I mean, this thing has only got two health, right? Okay, so here's what we do. Ramrod can kill this thing. I'll freeze this thing. Wallop can hit the boss for 12. Well, not that much, but a lot. I think that's okay. You don't want to waste all that wallop damage is sort of what I'm thinking here, right? All right, who do I want to take the damage from the Grink? Probably War is fine, right? I think that's okay. We could throw the Woodhead out there. To take that. The Woodhead might actually be helpful for over here, too. Assuming that the boss will, is going to get another turn. They only hit for three now, but... Seems like a good idea. Hmm, who's going to take the hit from the boss here? Might be able to freeze. I think we draw. So let's see, the boss deals three. I guess it's Ramrod, right? Woodhead can take that. Uh, Like that, right? When it hit, apply three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, what do I want to do here? Do I want to freeze this thing? Maybe we do. Ruminator isn't crazy, but it's not great either. Let's just freeze it, huh? It's about to summon more crap, which is definitely alarming. Yikes. <laughs> You only got two health. Hmm. Still probably a good time to just use this in a lot of ways. Okay, I think that's okay. Woodhead down. That's okay, though. Oh, the spike. Oh, the spike wall retaliated on it. Oh, wow. That's interesting. Hmm. Who's taking the hit over here, I wonder? I need to deal two to kill that thing, if I want to at all. Okay. There's no way I can kill this, I think. I guess I just do this. It's for two. It's such overkill all the time, it seems. Maybe that's the problem with Wallop, right? They tend to overkill our opponents. Okay, the boss is about to go. So someone's got to tank the hit. It's just these two spots on our side. Okay, that's fine. Wart can take three. Why don't we heal Colonel now? Although the boss is like dead. Huh. Unless there's more. 
Did it hit itself? It might have. Yay, we did it. So now we get to pick one of the two. More companions or a redraw bell counter. Minus one. I guess I'll go companion limit. I'm not actually sure though. Recovered from the injuries. Let's go, Shelly. All right, let's pick up the pace a little here. I think I like money a little bit more than more cards right now. If I want to change anything here, we'll keep the Colonel out. I think uh, instead of Shelly. A Burster. Apply one Haze. When attacking, hit a random ally instead. Oh. So when it hits me, hits an ally of mine, rather. It'll apply Haze, which will make them attack an ally. Okay, I think I understand. Let's just Sunrod right away here. What do you got? Blocks entire instances of damage, hits for eight. That crab, though, you know? Hmm, one of each, huh? Maybe I should have gotten the Colonel and played first and then played the Sunrod. I'm not sure. I'm not Showa. Man, the this haze thing is very scary sounding. Hmm. Looking at the counters here. Doing this will allow, hopefully, it to die. The Wallop can go first and deal four to kill it, right? Do I just want... Do I want to let the Burster hit Ramrod here? Applies two Frost. That's really scary. Okay, here. I think we freeze that. Oh, crap. I messed up. Tally a mistake. I think I messed up. Well, at least you can... Let's see if we can freeze it, huh? We can! Okay. Can I somehow kill it? <clears throat> Two health and I can't... I can't even kill it with Hongo's hammer here, right? Brawler, when hit, apply two block to a random ally. Well, that's scary. So someone's gonna get hazed. I don't see any other way around it right now. Hmm. I think we just start freezing this doodad. There's the haze. But at least it applied three shell. When does this go away? Counts down after each attack? Oh. I see. Six poison to something, huh? Maybe we do play the Shroominator. Let Wart hit something a few times here. Okay, Ramrod can finish off the Burster. Brawler would go first, hit for four. Hmm. Maybe I just play the Woodhead here. Prevent that damage. Are you not thinking too hard about it? There's more enemies, though, coming. You're dead to poison, but I think you get to go first. Hmm. The hammer's a bit tempting. Four instances of damage? How the hell am I going to handle that? Uh-oh. There's the damage from Colonel there. So you're hazed. No one's really that injured. That thing's dead to poison one way or another, huh? Hmm. The wall's gonna hit a random ally. I guess I just heal here, right? How much else I can do? Is it over? No. Numb skull. While active, add hog headed to all enemies. Cannot be recalled. Oh, that's fine. I never do that anyway. <laughs> God, these bursters are really scary. 
think we still do this early on. They're very scary because... Hmm. Okay, we can do... Let's move you. We can freeze you, get extra damage from Wallop, but... They do have a ton of block. And it blocks, like, all the damage, right? I guess we'll freeze you. Hit for six. Maybe I should be going for the crab here, though. I don't know. Yeah, so they don't actually take any extra damage. So poison should have been good against them. But kind of doesn't matter that much. Hmm. Those bursters are about to go. So who am I okay with getting hazed? Uh, Colonel, definitely. 100%. Less so Ramrod. So maybe I just freeze this one. It's already been hit a little bit. And maybe it can be finished off by Wart, kind of. This way, Colonel could tank both hits. Oh, crap. There was someone behind him. I forgot. But that was a good plan, if I had executed it correctly. Because allowing him to get hit is kind of good, because I get the three shell, right? And I could have done it one at a time, blah, blah, blah. Six of damage, huh? A lot. Da, da, da. I guess you're still going to get hit, right? Who do I want to get the shield? Ramrod, maybe? Maybe. Let's keep freezing here. I guess so, for now. Now we can Sunrod. I mean, it's not going to kill it or anything, but... We got to get that poison going, kind of. I don't think I missed any damage, necessarily. You're about to attack a random ally. I think that's okay, though. This is the boss, so... Didn't hit Wart. I'm happy with that, I think. Does Wart kill, essentially, here? Four damage, plus four more poison. So we're down to nine with six poison, and it's dead in two turns after that. It would appear that way. That's fine. Freeze this thing. Okay, doke So it's just dead, right? We don't have to finish the battle, right? I mean, we've gone through so many already, but I'm still not even sure. All right. Done. The muncher again? I'm not so sure about that now. I'd rather probably take a charm. I do have some money for the for this too. Let's go. Looks like the final battle is ahead. Hits all undamaged enemies five damage. That's kind of good, right? We could crown Colonel and get everyone into play, which is... I mean, the fact that you just do it for free without costing a turn is just massive, is it not? Give me a charm, too. I'm thinking about the bomb. Plus five health? I think they can have multiple charms, but you probably just want to give it to the Colonel anyway. They can actually heal above their maximum health here. Quote unquote maximum health. I guess it's not max health then. Fight to frost. Mm hmm mm hmm. Barrage. This just sounds like if we get surrounded by a bunch of little enemies or something. That could be very good. Gain hog headed plus seven health. Can I not give it to the hero? I cannot. Maybe we just give it to Wart. They can have multiple charms, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Okay. We're broke. Uh, let's get another charm here. Now what do we got? The charms are very good. Restore two health on kill. Also to Wart? <laughs> it's because they're probably going to get most of the kills. Maybe Wallop would get some. I mean, they're probably just going to get most of the kills, right? One wart to rule them all. This is kind of some lore about the game. Do not approach it by any means.
Eye of the Storm. All right, let's see how we do. The Frost Guardian. Let's see, let's see. When health is lost, add damage equal to self and allies. That is incredibly terrifying. Trigger when an ally attacks, lose one bing bong or whatever. While active, add one frenzy to all allies. Oh, I see. Hmm. Smack back. Well, I mean, we just kind of play everyone for now, either way, right? Hmm. Can only be frosted once. I'd like to kill this thing. Uh, we kind of... This is an instance where we definitely have to get rid of all the allies. So, Palm Bomb kind of works here. Yeah. We might just want to play the hammer on the spike wall, but I'm worried about throwing that out there too early. So these things, they have to be hit multiple times before I can actually get rid of them. Seems like a good time to sunrod here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> That's not... Kind of not what I had hoped for. <laughs> oh, no. This could be incredibly bad. Uh-oh. Um... So... Oh, my God. What do you do here? To start freezing this guy so that thing can't attack. They're eventually going to have to attack the spike wall. And someone's going to have to take the, the 17 here, right? I guess I didn't think that hard about what was going on with Wart there. There's no way I can get this boss down quick enough, right? Hmm. Not to mention these things hit twice also, by the way. They're, like, no one's surviving that. So I can try to go on a freezing cycle on the final boss here. It might be my only hope at this point. So someone's going to have to attack this spike wall. There's no other way around it. So who's taking the hit? Oh, well, I could recall someone, actually. Right? And just say, go back from whence he came. They didn't need to be healed, but keep freezing up here. I know that rock hog is, uh, cometh. Some pretty big damage there. Okay. Do I actually hit it with the, the hammer right here? Six poison? A lot of damage, right? It's actually even more than that, too. While active, add plus three damage to all allies and minus three to all enemies. The boss attacks twice. The rock hog. Oh, yikes. <laughs> That's a yikes. Okay. It seems like someone's gonna have to take a hit here. If you attack twice, right? Uh, you do not attack twice. It's only the allies that get it. Good night, Wallop. And then... Don't have a way to kill this thing. That's the only unfortunate instance here, I think. Maybe I just start freezing the boss and let this thing attack. Good night, Wallop. I don't see many other ways to do this. It's kind of close, right? To dead, that is. Might be our only hope at this point. Okay. Did we win? Is that really it? I'm doubtful. I knew it. 999? Nine, nine, nine. Oh, come on! When an ally is killed, lose half health and gain plus two attack. Oh my god. Now we're dead. 
So you needed to make sure you didn't hit the boss and you took care of everything else first, it kind of seems. I feel like that was the right way to go. Because we're, like, done. <laughs> Put a fork in me. Go, Colonel, go. The boss only hits for five, at least, I guess, right? Okay. I know they're attacking. I don't know, maybe I'm like as I'm not like totally giving up, but it kind of feels like maybe I should also. So I can't eat, I can't let Wart attack down here because if they hit the spike while they're dead. I guess it's not a horrible time to play the shroom. The shroominator could actually tank a hit. Potentially. Yeah, from the rock hog. So I guess that's probably worth. Oh. I don't know if I looked at the health properly there. But I didn't want Colonel to die, really. I see. Fascinating turn of events. You have four, twice. Okay, that kind of just has to happen. All undamaged enemies. Okay. Whoa, wait, what? 497? Oh, now it says... Oh, wait, what does this say? When an ally is killed, lose half health and gain plus two damage. Oh! I misread that. Okay. This guy's gonna hit too hard. We have to freeze him or something here. I don't know. Rockhog can kill the Shroominator. And then I can use the Woodhead to tank the last hit. There we go. So we have to kill the allies. What am I doing? <laughs> I still can't... Ugh. I can't let Wart hit this thing, though. I just can't. How am I going to kill that thing, though, you know? This thing's only got two health. So I, this is the instance where, like, if I just kept a couple scrappy swords, <laughs> things would probably be going much better, right? Okay, so I need to get rid of this thing. So I think I hit it with the snow stick. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I need to freeze you again. And then I can redraw next turn. I don't think I actually play the sun rod. You're hitting for six twice. Uh-oh. It's actually really bad, huh? I can't let Wart die. I can heal you for four. And that way you'll survive. I can play the wood head. Put you at three, which is slightly better, I guess. We have to do this. Okay, they attack every other turn, though. Yikes. Is that GG's? I wish I had read that a little bit better. Undamaged enemies take five. So it kills... Does that kill the spike wall, technically? It might, but it doesn't kill this. And I have to do something about this. I can't let it attack. Restore four health to all allies. La 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 la. If that thing attacks, we die straight up. Okay, you got frozen. No one else is attacking. Okay, that does get rid of that thing. It's down to 115 health now. But it's dealing 8 damage per hit. I think that's GG. Because we got four enemies attacking. But I'm pretty sure... What happens here? Can we kill the Rock Hog at least? We did. Rest in pieces. It was close though. It was actually close. I wish I had read that a little bit sooner. But we do want to take out some of the enemies at the start of that fight before I start hitting the boss, that's for sure. But hey, that was my 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 first real run after the tutorial, so I think we did all right at least, right? Got to see the boss. But hey, that's Wild Frost. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is like one of those games that it's really simple to pick up and understand quickly, and it's really addicting, and you just want to get going and play more and more and more. And like, you know, simple to learn, 
probably really hard to master you know what i'm saying let me show you the town in case you're interested here i don't actually know that much about what goes on here because it wasn't in the demo discover your new charm new items can be unlocked in the inventor's hut hot spring construction started okay we haven't done that these are i think you unlock companions and cards by doing specific achievements there my name is Plies. I'll be crafting up new items that you'll find in your future travels. Okay, but I haven't done any of that yet, apparently. I think it's just unlocks. It's not true meta progression. This is a daily over here on the right. Gain 50 blings from a single battle. Kill 100 enemies. So, okay, gotcha. I think this is like a collection of cards, so almost like a deck. So you can there's like three deck archetypes, maybe? I'm not sure. All right, that's Wild Frost, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you made it this far. Uh, if you want to see more of the game, make sure you always let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think either way, please. Like and subscribe if you have not already as well. I love this game. I hope y'all want to see more of the game because I cannot wait to play more of the game. All right, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.